Hello there. Thanks a lot for coming by PosterCentral.com's video blog today. I'm Pete Howard. And man, I'll tell you, one of the coolest cats to ever pick up a microphone or tickle the jazz ivories is Nat King Cole. At the height of his Rat Pack-like coolness on this concert poster, wow, look at that. Isn't that, <laughs> that's just so swinging cool, isn't it, for 1963? Boy, I'll tell you. Member of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. As an influence on early rock and roll, Downbeat Jazz Hall of Fame, is, Nat is a member, um, Grammy Lifetime Achievement Award winner, and a member of the Latin Songwriters Hall of Fame. And to boot, Nat was put on a U.S. postage stamp in 1994. So, boy, I'll tell you, it's great to have him on concert poster. He just doesn't turn up that much. And this is a bright yellow, in fact, just itself is pretty cool, um, window card, interestingly with red venue information stripped in there down below. But you know, with his hat and that sweater and his cigarette holder, he's just the epitome of cool, certainly back before we knew how dangerous cigarettes would be to your health, and of course, which Nat found out firsthand. Now, Mr. Cole's Sights and Sounds musical review was a rather ambitious production, certainly not just another concert performance. It was a, you know, a review of sorts, as I said, and it ran for three straight years, from 1962 and 63 here, and again in 1964, and it played at theaters and nightclubs and concert stages all over the country. And by the way, it was produced by, as you can see there at the top, um, Kel Cole Productions, and you can guess by the name, of course, yes, he did own that. Now, the opening acts, as given on the poster, included, but not limited to, New Comedy Sensation, Pete Barbuti, and The Merry Young Souls, getting closer, and Joe Zito's 19-piece orchestra. Mm -hmm. So, um, one thing I always like to point out is the timing of these concert posters in their career and what records they were putting out. And even though it wasn't a smash hit, certainly one of Nat's most enduring songs ever that you still hear pop up in movies and TV shows and stuff, is the lively, fun, lighthearted, those lazy, hazy, crazy days of summer. And what's fun about this bright yellow concert poster is that it was this summer indeed that that was a hit. Um, it was actually a national top ten hit. I shouldn't have said it wasn't much of a hit. It just didn't get the number one, but it was, it was top ten, and it was his last one of his career. So this particular show, as you can see down below, is from the Capitol Theater in Williamsport, Pennsylvania. It does say Tuesday, October 8th at 8 p.m., and ticket prices are given for Orc, <laughs> Loge, and Balcony. Orc, or Orch, short, of course, for orchestra. Now, the cool thing is, speaking of cool and that, is that it's always fun when I've got a second poster, or a picture's half fun. A picture's great, but a, to actually have a second poster, so only ten days later, I've got another one to show you. Wow, both original concert window cards, how fun. And this one's from Hartford, Connecticut. Actually, as you can see, Bushnell Memorial, which was an auditorium there. And it says Friday, October 18th at 8.30 p.m. With very similar pricing and also mail order information there in the, the red print in the white venue information box. So. Well, and guess what? Here is a third one. Surprise! Look at this. Yeah, I came up with still another. And it's not for just one night, like the previous two posters. This one is for a week's worth of shows a month later. And we're talking about Thanksgiving week, 1963. You know, a holiday week when certainly Disneyland in Anaheim, California must have been quite packed with people. And this is from across from Disneyland, as you can see there in the red venue information, specifically the Melodyland Theater. And it does say, as you can see, one week only, Tuesday, November 26th through Sunday, December 1st. Now normally, you know, that would be all fun and games with Disneyland involved and families and everything, but you know, this starts Tuesday, November 26, as I said, and Monday, November 25, sadly, was a day of national mourning due to the assassination of President Kennedy the previous Friday, November 22. So, you know, you just kind of kind of wonder how they handled that, right? I mean, did uh, were a couple of shows canceled, like maybe the Tuesday and Wednesday were not done, or you know, um, what about what you know, what about that new comedy sensation on here, Pete Barbuti? I mean, did he was he left off the bill for this week, or did he change from comedy to commentary? I don't know. It's just really tough to say unless you know somebody, of course, who was there or perhaps worked for the tour. 
Now, interestingly, the previous two posters I showed you had no printer's credit at the bottom, and uh, you just sort of knew from this red block printing that it was the Murray Poster Printing Company out of New York. But sure enough, you get to see enough of these, and there it is. In the lower right-hand corner, it does say Murray Poster Printing Company in New York. So that's a, you know, makes it for sure, although I was sure before, too. Boy, Nat King Cole, you know, a little over a year before we lost this wonderful man to cancer. But uh, while he was alive, he made great music that lives on nicely to this day. Three fun concert posters. Nice to see a tour blank in action like this. And uh, thanks a lot for coming by. We'll see you next time for something soon. Bye-bye.